Today, on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Peace Oyakilume, is asking the court to compel her ex-husband to be responsible for the upkeep of their children. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Honor, this case is between Peace for your Kilome versus Jonat Abume. Thank you. So, Peace, ma'am, you brought Jonah here. Yes, ma'am. What's the issue? We had no, issues no. and we no. no. were separated. But before then, before the separation comes up, I left the house because of marital violence. He was beating me. The last one he did, I was in my shop one, uh, I think some years back, uh, 2020. Yes, 2020, I was in the shop. He, he works with uh, Chelsea, Chelsea. He cloned my phone to his phone, which I don't know. Then he was chatting with a man Azumi talking to him as if I was the one chatting with him, which he knows the person about when I was in school. I had nothing with him because he's a married man, he's a man. So after he did everything by himself, which I was not aware, he came home one day after some days and said that uh, I was chatting with uh, uh, Ego Ofu. I said no. I don't have anything like that. I didn't chat him up on anything. Before then, he has already sent, he screenshotted those messages he chatted himself with a man to my younger brother. How did we, ah, when he came up, when he came home from work that day, I pricked my phone. As I clicked my Facebook, those messages came into my phone, but they wiped off. Because I was, it was not my phone that was used to send the messages. So I couldn't have those messages. He confirmed and told me that he had sent those messages to my brother. I said, now, you chatted with an, a man yourself. Assume me I'm the one. To the extent he was asking the man to send his nude pictures. The man actually sent him his own nude pictures. The man also asked for my nude pictures. I think that's when the man now got to know that I'm not the one and I don't have his number. He came home, he beat me that day with belt and cutlass. I was running around the compound with the children. I had to treat three kids for him. And there's a guest staying with me then. He beat me, I landed in the hospital. I stayed in hospital for more than one to two months. I was just going and coming in every week. To an extent, I, two weeks after I was discharged, I got back there. They couldn't even get vein. The doctors were like, your veins has collapsed. What happened? My BP rose up. After I was being uh, discharged from the hospital that year, I got home. I was still lying on the ground. I was having headache because of the BP. I don't know. He was on, I think he was on leave. My first son, Leo, was playing outside the gates. He went out, he came back and said, why is, are they, why is the children playing outside the gates? The boy ran to me where I was lying down. He came with the annoyance because he's huge. He bounced and wanted to beat the boy. So the boy on the floor was lying, he came. And I said, I'll leave him now. She'll be not play that they play. He said, if not be say you the sick now for match you. So I, was, I stood up on the bed, I was uh, lying down. I just looked at him. I said, so many things has been going on in this house. So many things. Not that you even take care of us like the way they take care of ch uh, children or wife. If they ask for school fees, you pay half. So that day, he didn't know. I just took the decision within me. In my, uh, um, I left my sick bed, entered my wardrobe. I was arranging my clothes with the children's clothes. He was at home. I think I did that for two to three days before he traveled. So he was asking me, are you arranging your clothes? I said, yes, that the clothes are too much. So I don't want them to be pouring on the ground. He traveled. 
Before he would come back, I've packed my things and I left the house. He called me, I think, the next day or two days when he came back. Then I was not still having the courage to tell him I've moved out of the house. So I just told him I went for a church program. He was like, ah, where you go this church program? I said, at Lecky. He said, first day, second day, I did come. He said, no, he has gone around the house I have moved. I, then I think the fourth day was when I had the courage to tell him. I said, yes, I have left. I have left the marriage. So I said, okay, no problem. He went to my brother's place to tell my brother that he cannot find me in the house, so blah, blah, blah. My, father, uh, my brother then called, my brother now called my dad. My dad now said, he doesn't have hand in the marriage. You should go to the eldest in the family before he passed on. So they fixed a meeting for two of us, which we both attended the meeting. The meeting there, I told them, I'm no longer interested. So my big daddy then, before he passed on, was not like, ah, what not happened to this extent? I have never had one day come back home to them to complain about this marriage. I said yes, because from the initial beginning, when I wanted to get into the marriage, my family never wanted the marriage. They were fighting me that he has two kids before. And yet, as a young graduate, I was 22, then why going into it, I was like, I love him, that is what I want, blah, 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 that I must marry him then. I had my first issue. Then during the second pregnancy, my dad came from Lagos. He stays in Lagos here. He came and said, he will not allow me to have my second child without my diary not being paid. So my family ensured he paid my diary, which he eventually did. So even when things were going bad in the marriage, I didn't tell them. I kept it to myself. My brother was staying with me. My brother saw some of those things. But yet, I didn't tell anybody about it because I was warned about it, so I was just alone. But this faithful day, I came to the family and told them, Daddy, I don't want again. Then he told him, he said, fine. As she has come to say she doesn't want again, she is the one that has been there. And she's coming up complaining that she doesn't want, let it be. My uncle, who is my godfather, that was seated with us in, the, in that same meeting. That was the first time he's meeting him for 12 years we are married. He doesn't know most of my family members. So they said, okay, everything ends there. My big daddy, before he passed on, now said, he cannot uh, dissolve the marriage on its own. We did traditional marriage. Let's go back home. Then my uncle, who is the senior now in Ekboma, sent, I went home told him everything that was happening. He said, okay, no problem. We'll go to the palace, to our king. So he now said, he doesn't want me to go to Ewu because I'm from Ewu, from Edo State. He now said, no, that if we go there, for instance now, and the king now want to pass judgment, they might, his family might say, ah, our king is biased. Let's go to their king. Then myself and one of my uncle in the village, and the, my uncle here followed me down home. We got to the palace, we registered the case. They fixed a date for us. I came back to Lagos. They called him to come to, for the meeting. That fateful day I went, he did not come. The sister represented him. His father came and one other man, which is his, the relative. Then from what I wrote down, they asked question and I explained my part. The sister was talking, the father talked. So the king asked the father, and said, your son came home for Christmas or for a holiday, and she did, he did not come home with a wife and children. Did you ask him, where is the wife? Where, is your, where, where are the children? He said, yes. He said, so what was the response? He said, she moved out of the house. So what did you do? Have you gone to the family? Have you gone to ask the family that your daughter that you people gave to us, so we did not see her again? What is the next? He said no. So the king and the chiefs and the elders then I said, fine. They cannot preside on this issue now. We should go back. I think that was in March. They gave us two months to come back. The family should come to see my own family. That when they are through discussing, Whatsoever we, that has been presided, whatever that has been said, will come back April. I can't remember the date, but I wrote it down in my diary. That when we come back, then we, they will not decide on what we have discussed. 
That's how we left. Then on that day in April, we came back. He came. He was not present because it was uh, Easter period. I think he had, he took, excuse, I don't know. He came. The sister also followed him. The father was there and that same man. My uncle from the village was around also. And the one in Lagos always coming with me. We were present. Then the king, after they read the whole thing, that I said, yes, you ask us to go and come back. Then the king now asked him, have you gone to see his par her parents like the way he said? They asked me and I said they did not come. They asked my uncle, they did not come. They asked him, he said he did not come. So the king now asked him, so what do you now want us to do? The girl and her family have said they don't want the marriage. We wanted to see how to, how to see how to make up. Maybe two of you can come together. But the way it seems now, it's like both of you will really go your separate ways. So my uncle was like, after everything that has happened, that she came out successfully out of it, that that's the end. They don't want the marriage again. And I said, I don't want it there. Then the king now said, fine. I told him, he was trying to fix another date. I said, sir, I can't be traveling. I have kids. I leave them at home every time. I will come, spend days, spend weeks. And yet he is not coming. He came today now. If there's anything we can do, let's do it. So he now said that, uh, that he does not even want the marriage again. We should, we should go our separate way, but he needs the kids. So I now told the king there instantly, I said, I can't give him the kids. Reason be that they are still small. And secondly, he does not stay at home. He leaves the house in the morning by 4.30 in the morning and comes back home by 8 o'clock. Who we'll take care of the kids? What am I doing that I cannot take care of my children, that I will not accept it? So the king now said, okay, fine. They asked me how old are they? Then they were, I think it was, the first one was 11 years or 12 years, 10, 8, and 7. And the last child was 8 years, 10 years. You know, all this long story, yeah, it's okay to express it, but I've checked your claim. What is your claim? Because I can't see what your claim is. Since Apart I left... from talking about upkeep on the children. Yes. So go, let me have your claim so that you can respond to it. Okay. When we left the village, the cost asked us to go to customary courts at the king's palace there. So I told the king, I can't come to Ekpoman to do it. He said, I can do it anywhere I am. Do what? The, I should return the diary at okay. the customary court. Okay. So we went, I came back to Lagos. My family met, went to Ikotun at Igondo, uh, Ikotun customary court at the local government. So I went there. I went to, before then, I, my, we saw somebody that said we should go there. Went there, I laid my complaint at the customary court. When I laid my complaint at the customary court, they fixed a date for us to come for the first hearing. I came. My family, everybody was there. He did not come for that first hearing. So they Eventually could, what? Eventually the whole thing. That? He didn't come trot for the hearing for the three times, which is they served him paper in, in, the, in his office. He did not uh, come for any of them. They had to pass judgment. And in that judgment, he said he should be taking care of the children. He should have upkeep and all. And if he wants to see the children, it should be an agreement between both of us, between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. in an open place. It was written in the agreement. I said, okay, no problem. Why that came up? 2021, August, he, he called me and said, I should bring the children for him. They should come for holiday, two weeks to resumption. I told my parents, they said, I should take, they should go now. Then my parents now said, if he wants to carry them, he should come and pick them in my brother's house. Then if he's returning them, he should also return them back to my brother's house. I'll pick them from there. I said, okay, no problem. I took the children there. He came in eventually, he picked the children. They spent the holiday with him. On Monday, they were to resume school. On Sunday evening, 4 5, I started calling him. I asked him, bring the children now. You don't carry the children, go a place. You don't carry them, go. 
He said he was on his way coming. There was traffic and he returned them back. That first thing on Monday morning, he will bring them. I said, ah, first thing on Monday morning, you that leave the house by 4.30. What kind of traffic? I would say, I should not worry that I will bring, he will bring them. I said, fine. I called my family and I told them. They said, I should just relax now. This is four, this is five in the morning. He was bringing them because I stay at Mowe. He brought them to Mowe. He didn't bring them to my house. He didn't bring them to my brother's place. He stopped them on the road at the junction and put them in Keke and said they should go home by themselves. So I was at home. I just heard knock on the gates. I opened the gate. I saw them. I said, who brought you people? They said, it's my daddy. I said, where is him? He has gone back. Gone back as how? He said they, he dropped, him, dropped them on the, on the, at the junction and said they should go get home by themselves. So I now called him. I said, ah, even if you want to bring the children home, uh, you want to bring them to me, why didn't you call me to come out to pick these children? You don't even know if I've allowed them to go out by themselves. You should have called me. I'm not doing anything. I'm at home. So what happened there? That was the last time he saw the children. He didn't ask after them again? No. He did it, not ask after them? He did not ask after them. The plaintiff, Peace Uyakilome, claims she left home and got separated from her ex-husband to avoid domestic violence. She alleges that her ex-husband hacked into her Facebook account and impersonated her to chat and request for nude pictures of her acquaintance. She eventually reported their marital issues to the family, kindred, and customary court. It seems the issue has not been completely resolved. Now, she is in justice court to seek redress. The defendant, Jonah Abuime, claims his wife left the marriage because of her infidelity and he is no longer interested in the marriage. He alleges that his ex-wife has been hiding his children away from him. Judge Fumi wades into this matter. So, can I have your... Thank you, ma'am. I'd love you to respond to what she has said. So, all what she said, she has been telling lies from the beginning to the end, but I think that's not actually why we are here. Why we are here is not because of my kids that she has decided to keep away from me. I mean, that is the reason. But for the marriage, I think uh, it's what she, what she wants that she has gotten. And uh, I don't want to actually talk about marriage. That's, uh, all along, all along, she has been painting me black. I think God knows the best. I have not done anything wrong to her. I took them as my family. I have always been a good father. When I started seeing uh, changes, I decided to walk towards it. And I found that she was actually doing a lot of things because somebody, somebody who you trust with all your heart, and at the end of the day, uh, something has gone wrong. I think uh, she planned it and has succeeded. I don't really want to talk about the marriage because the marriage is the marriage has gone so, and uh, it's God. It's God. If I have done her wrong, it's God. If I have tried to be a father, it's God. You can hear her when she said that well, I leave home four thirty and come back eight. It's God has been taking me through all this time. I don't keep money. I want to always make them happy. My children can attest to that. But she left with my kids and she doesn't want me to see those children. It's my problem. That has been my problem. When was the last time you saw And I'm happy. When was the last time you saw the children? I went when they left, when they left, I think I started looking for them. I went to a lot of police stations. I started looking for them to she allowed those children to come and visit me. Because she, she doesn't we, we don't talk on phone. She, she she has blocked me. I can't call her, I can't reach the children. So one day she allowed the children to come and see me. So when the children came, they told me everything. How I can locate them, they showed me their school, everything, what they want, I gave it to them. I took them myself to where they are, thinking 
even if the marriage is not working, at least we should be able to take care of the children. I took them to the, where they were staying in Emory. Then they showed me their school. Then they described their house. I said, okay. But I called her okay. that uh, I've arranged the children in the in the, in the care, that is bringing them home. So. But I'm going back to work. That was how I left. I went back to the school. When I got to the school, they called them. They called all my children. One man told me that she was using the mask name to put them in school. The school people, the school, they told me. I said, I'm their rightful father. They should have the children. They asked the children. And I paid their school fees. They said they needed bag. The uh, school bag, books, I paid everything. And I went back to work because I was at work that very day. So that was how I saw them. So December came. I called her again. And, ah, these children, I'm missing them. They should, they should send the children so that I will go and carry them. The she said, no, that uh, this is the first time. This is the first time the children are staying with uh, her. I was shocked. That was how she ended up that this, uh, conversation. I allowed the children to do Christmas and New Year. So I was, I was coming from travel. I said, okay, let me go to the school again. Let me go and do one or two things in school there. When I got there, I was shocked. To my surprise, she, has, she took the children out of the school. The proprietor and all of them, they came out. They said that he and the husband, they have taken the children out of the school that they don't even know where the children are. I said, okay, let me drive to where the children said they were staying. When I got there, they've moved out of that place too. So since then, she has refused me to see the children. I went back to the school again. They said they've not heard of them because I gave them my number in case they, they hear anything about the children. They, they should tell me, they should call me so that I, will, I want to see the children. And that's how she has been running with the children. The one she said we went to, she took me to court in uh, my village. She she invited me, they invited me. As I got there, the king wasn't there. It was the uh, elders that were there that uh, presided over the, 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 the case. They now asked me if I have gone to see the children. I said, yes. I won't, then I will show them the receipt the I used to pay their school fees and all of that. At least the teachers and the the headmistress, they are alive for this. They can attest to that. I don't know why she's running with my children. That is just my, my main problem with her. All those ones she's saying, I don't know about that. I've not even touched her one day. I've not touched her. So the thing is that we went to the father's house. The father said, why are you always having problems with your husband? You know, the father just Ask her, why is she calling you? Why is he calling you a prostitute? She said, uh, why we are having a problem is that uh, I caught her with uh, another man in my matrimonial uh, home. I caught her with another man. That's what she said with her own man. So that was why the father said she, he cannot be part partake for, from, from this uh, issue because it's a little bit dicey in my tradition. If the father say any, any, any contradicting what she has just said, somebody, something might happen. So that was how she not, he not directed her to the senior brother, who is late now. So the senior brother said, well, he's a pastor that he can pray for us. But my own is to forgive her. I told the pastor, right, the, the man right, right there, that if I have not forgiven her, this is the second one I'm, you know, uh, uh, the second one I trust her with. This one is not the first one that she told me she was going to church, whereas she went to another place. The mark confirmed it. I went to Ekoma, the mark confirmed it at Ekoma. Not that I, 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 I just, it's something that happened. The man told me, it was, I didn't throw his phone, her phone. She bought another phone and gave me my old phone. When I got to work, messages were coming in. That was how I get to know. It's not that uh, 
I beat her. Even when I came, I gave it to her. She read it and knelt down. She was crying furiously Jonah. that I should forgive her. Jonah. Madam, yes, my lord. Okay. Yes, my lord. Um, what's the situation between the two of you? Are you still married to each other? I'm not married to her any longer. You are divorced? I'm not married to her any longer. She, she, I, she's with somebody else. Are you, so what can are, somebody are, else? are you divorced? We are not divorced. My, 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 uh, what do you call it? My money that I paid during her, her uh, the marriage is still with her. She has not returned it. She's, she's also equally staying with the man. At, uh, are you, are you uh, aware? Uh, are you aware that the customary court has dissolved your wedding on 21st day of June 2022? I have the she court. Never told me that. She has the court. Uh, Will you keep quiet? The matter seems to have an existing court judgment, but the defendant claims he is not aware of it. This matter continues to unfold in the next episode as Judge Fumi cross examines both parties. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.